I... I heard you're having trouble sleeping. Yeah. Well, that's okay. We can stay awake a little bit longer together. A little bit longer. Can't hurt, right? Just make sure that you are in bed and that you're nice and cozy. Maybe that you have something to hold. Do you have something to hold? Okay, well, that's fine. I have this for you if you want it. It's a very nice sheep. Yeah, here you go. And I have one too, so don't worry. We'll, we'll both be asleep in no time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wish I had enough that that we could count them until we fall asleep, but I only have two, so it wouldn't it wouldn't occupy us for very long. Is there something on your mind? That's okay. There doesn't have to be anything specific. Sometimes you just have trouble sleeping. Well, that's all right. Close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes. Something that I used to do, and sometimes I still do whenever I'm having trouble getting to sleep, having trouble looking forward to tomorrow. I try and visualize the next day, and I try and visualize it going perfectly, you know? What would the perfect tomorrow look like? Maybe it's waking up just a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit earlier than usual, so that you have time for a nice breakfast, or for an extra fancy cup of coffee, or maybe to do a little bit of reading before you have to get started on your work for the day whether you do it at home or away, or whether you're going to school. So maybe you'll wake up a tiny, tiny bit early, by yourself though, not from an alarm. It just happens, and you feel energized, and you wake up, and you get to do something nice for yourself. A breakfast, coffee, book newspaper, or just news. And then you start your work for the day, and you make no mistakes at all. You do everything perfectly. Maybe if you're in school, you have all your assignments in on time. You've done everything. Your professors are impressed with you. Or if you're at work, you go in with your game face on, <laughs> and all of your coworkers are having good days and cooperating well with you, and your boss is in a good mood, and they're being really nice, or your manager, whoever your superior is, and you get some of the hard jobs and some of the easy jobs so you don't feel unproductive <clears throat> or guilty for having an easy day but you also feel like it was a fun day you know you got to do the good stuff but then you know maybe you also took out the trash or whatever enough to feel like you were taking something off the back of someone else in a way that makes you feel good in a way that maybe they appreciate. Yeah, the sheep is cozy, huh? It's nice to hold something. Visualize your day and close your eyes. And breathe, and breathe slowly.
and then work or school is done. Maybe one of your classes ends early. Maybe at work, closing is just really easy for some reason. <clears throat> Maybe there's a very nice storm that comes along and ends up canceling some things that you really wished were canceled anyway. Or maybe the weather's perfectly beautiful and you have time for a walk after work or after school. Or maybe the kids are down for a nap and you can go on a walk. sleepy. You don't have to actively imagine. You can just close your eyes and think about good things that might happen tomorrow. Let it be foggy. Let it be vague. Hold your sheep. so comfy. It looks so cozy whenever they're resting their head on the animals with their shepherd staff next to them. And in real life, I'm sure it's not like that at all. I'm sure it's full of flies and hay and bad smells, but I remember seeing those images as a kid and just thinking, I want to sleep on a sheep with my head resting on a sheep. your book, or to catch up with an old friend who you haven't talked to in a long time, and maybe they message you first, and they say, hey, what's up? How have you been? And you get to say, I'm doing great. I had a really good day today. How are you? And then y'all catch up. Maybe make plans to see each other. And maybe they never end up following through, but that's okay. It feels good to catch up just then. Just to know that y'all still think about each other, you know? It's nice to dream about old friends, too. Especially ones that you haven't thought about in a long time. It's nice, too. 
have them reappear in your subconscious. Remind you that there's other people out there that still remember you, even when you feel alone. At least we can assume that if you're remembering them. You know that feeling whenever you're in bed and you've worked hard, but not too hard, and you know you're just the right amount of exhausted to drift off and to have a good sleep, a good long sleep. You might not be feeling that tonight. You might be stuck awake, but maybe you'll feel it tomorrow and that'll be nice. Won't it? It'll be nice to lay in bed and to feel how heavy your eyes are and how much they just want to close, how much you just want to relax, how much you just want to stop thinking and sink into your sheets and feel calm and peaceful and like you've done a good job because you have it'll be nice to feel that way and you can and you might maybe you do and that's good you deserve rest you deserve to stop working anything you didn't get done today you'll have time to do it won't get done now. It won't get done now. But it can get done later. It can get done later. There's always work to be done. But you don't always have to do work. There's always work to be done, but you don't always have to do work. I don't have insomnia so much as an adult. Or maybe I just manage it a little bit better, but I really just don't think I have it. But whenever I was young, I really, really had um, a lot of trouble sleeping, and so I had all sorts of tricks. I listened to the radio a lot. Maybe that was one of those early sorts of ASMR experiences. I would listen to the news. Not news that I understood at that age. And I had a really shitty little radio. It was, um, it was an alarm clock radio. And so it was always very, very staticky. Static. Or what I listen to. So sometimes I would listen to music really, really softly. But then every now and then a really loud song would come on and it would mess me up. I listened to audiobooks, but I only owned one. I only owned one audiobook and it was the first Harry Potter book. I haven't reread any Harry Potter books, except, I guess, the first one. But I didn't read it, I just listened to it. But I listened to it for, I mean, probably a year or two of my life, almost every night, falling asleep. But maybe it also doesn't count as a reread, because I only listened 
listen to the first CD over and 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 over. So the beginning of Harry Potter, I have quite locked it down in my memory. I would also just read my books, and I would count, I would count up to 100, and then down to zero, and then down to negative 100, because I felt very clever. Sometimes I would count sheep, but more often I would just count numbers, or stars, or spots on the ceiling. I was very afraid of ghosts when I was a kid, so sometimes I would put my head under my covers until I felt like I couldn't breathe, and then I would come up for air. Luckily, I don't do that anymore. That stopped, I think, once I... Once I moved out, basically. Are you feeling sleepy? Are you feeling calm? Looks like you've relaxed your grip on your sheep a little bit. gonna have a good day tomorrow, all right? You're gonna have a good day. You're gonna sleep well. You're gonna be cozy and comfy. And you're gonna have time to do everything you need to do. You're gonna have time to do everything you need to do. Everything you need to do. You have plenty of time. Plenty of Good night.